What's up guys, welcome to my trick, my name is Eric and this is as you can see uh, the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. I'm currently on patch 5.3, the live servers, and this is a patch 5.4 PTR video. The reason why I'm starting over on the live servers is because I want to show you this. You, you have seen this many times, this big hole in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. And Veil of Eternal Blossoms, I really think that's the most beautiful zone there ever is in Pandaria. But if you think this Dark Heart of Pandaria thing destroyed the Veil forever, wait until you see this. And for those of you who love the Veil and really think this is a beautiful zone, you will probably cry when you see this. And as you know, this is the two, two Mogu Guardians. <coughs> You can see every time you log into the game, because this is where the login screen is. And this is the two Mogu Guardians. And they have also uh, got a huge change, if you know what I mean. Let's go over to patch 5.4 and check it out. What's up guys and welcome to the patch 5.4 PTR. This is the Mogu statue's guardians. Now, look at that. They're completely destroyed. I mean, this one, he has lost half of his body while this one has lost his arm. I mean, this is totally annihilation. And I'm wondering if this is going to affect the login screen. Because this, um, this is where the login screen is normally. So I'm wondering if they will make a change to... I don't think they will, but it would be nice if they did. Anyway... Let's take a look and explore what the changes, other changes they made to, pa to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. And if you love this, I mean, this is this is so sad for Veil of Eternal Blossoms because it's one of the most beautiful areas, totally destroyed. But let's take a look. Okay, we are here in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, and take a look, guys. Take a look. Shark creatures all over the place. The land has been torn apart. And you can see down here there were always used to be a river. All the water is drained and now the land is completely dead. And I'm lagging like hell. Anyway, there's nothing much I can do about it. But just take a look at this, guys. I mean... Wow, Shah everywhere, and this really makes me sad, because this was one of my favorite zones, except for the Golden Lotus Lotus Dailies. They were a, they were a pain in the ass, to be fair. But the rest of the Vale around it is like it always is. The Gula the Gualai Halls is as normal as it always is, and the Mogu here. Is always no. It's also very normal. We also move over here, and it is normal still. But over half of Vale of Eternal Blossoms has been torn apart, and you can see there is char everywhere you go, everywhere you look, everywhere. And the the wildlife and the sorrow they were close to the river has been affected by the char. Everything now has been affected by the char. And I'm sorry guys for lagging. I'm really am. But look at this. Wow. What is that? Craggle Fang? I've never seen him before. Maybe I have, I can't remember. But look at this guys. All I mean look at this. Look at this porcupine. It is affected by the char as well. And that was it. Yeah, that is here. That is the first part I want to show you in this video. If we move closer to the statues, you can see the head is here. And I want to know more how this happened. Did Garros blow? Did Garros blew the place to parts? I mean, I don't know. But as you can see, we are here in the Golden Pagoda. And this is where you normally accept your Golden Lotus dailies. And as you can see, 
It is gone. It is blown to pieces. And that means, guys, you cannot be you cannot be able to do Golden Lotus dailies anymore. So if you want to be solid with them uh, before the patch hits, if you want to get as many, if you got want to get those lovely crane mounts, go complete it for fuck's sake. I mean, don't be so lazy. Don't go get them now. Go be solid with the Golden Lotus, but that because that might be your last chance of getting it. And then they will probably making a fe feat of strength. I'm not sure. But there's a door here to one of the statues. And I'm wondering if we can actually get it through it. On some kind. But it will be really cool to see what's inside there. But as you can see. This is here the Dark Heart of Pandaria normally is. And it looks even worse. There is Shah everywhere. And you can see. I mean look at this guys. And look at this goblin. He has been followed by the Shar. They have taken over the place here. And wow. The way the shrine of seven stars and the shrine of two moons is still here. Don't worry, nothing about that, nothing changed. But you can see the water has been drained completely. No water by guys. And I'm wondering if this will affect the rares that usually is here. Let's go take a look at Jorik Sharp Eye. I mean, let's go take a look and see if he is been removed. I don't think he is now. Where is he? Ugh, I'm lagging. I can't find him at the moment, but he was usually he usually is right here at the chest in a little boat. Um let's let us let us explore further into this uh destroyed land. Let's go take a look at Sand Tidehunter. And when that is done, I want to show you the last thing they have changed to the Veil. Let's go see if Sand Tidehunter is here. Uh, where are you? It is right here. He's right here where he spawns. Cause you can see he's dead. Crap. But there is Sha everywhere. And I want to show you something. I want to show you a entrance to... The new raid, guys. The new raid entrance can be found right here in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. Right under the Mokushan Palace. This was usually where the Golden Lotus Quartermaster was staying. And was walking around and sold you those lovely crane mounts. If you want to get them, guys, go complete your dailies right now. Here's the summoning sp stone. Here's the summoning stone for it. And you will... And here is the entrance guys here is the entrance to the siege of Orgrimmar it can be found right here in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms right here and I'm very excited to see what that holds I really am but this was a oh what shit okay guys I'll be right I'll be right back in a few seconds and I will show you more changes made to the world not only in Veil of Eternal Blossoms they have made some changes, but also to Razor Hill. If we move into Razor Hill, we will be able to see dozens and dozens of Thunder Bluff Warriors and Dark Spear Headhunters. And if we move a bit further into Razor Hill, you will see they are preparing, guys. They are preparing for the attack. The attack will soon be upon us and we will soon be a part of it and this is gonna be an epic epic quest line I can just feel it in my veins and I'm getting goosebumps all over my body just thinking about this look at this guys all those stocks being horde there's horde demolitions here and this and Bane Bloodhoff and Vulgin are preparing as well for war and if we move outside Razor Hill you can see there's all all these warriors everywhere if we move outside Razor Hill you will be able to see Okrima refugees and these have been probably trying to escape from Orgrimmar and they succeeded they don't wanna be a part of Garrosh anymore they want to get out of that cursed city with all the Corcoran, Um because Garrosh has made that made that into a fortress you can see there's these orc families here and they are refugees. 
But not only in Razor Hill, there's also a change made to Orgrimma. Let's go and take a look. Welcome to Orgrimma, guys. Today I want to show you some changes they've also made to Orgrimma. We are in the Valve Spirits at the moment, and they and these changes are as always. You can see the Corcoran are taking over the Valley of Spirits, and the Valley of Spirit has been locked down, and they have captured all the trolls, and now they are cap captives. Now they are prisoners. But if we move closer into the city, we will be able to see Corcoran elite guards everywhere we go, guys. These have replaced the Orgrimmagrunt's place. There's these... Wow, look at all these Corcoran. Everywhere you go, there's Corcoran, Corcoran, and even more Corcoran. So these guys have taken over the Grunt's place. And wow, there's so many of them. There's a Corcoran overseer here, and these Corcoran are training. This is a fortress now, guys. And I just want to say good luck, Alliance, for getting... For getting the achievement on Garrus now, because there is a whole bunch of guards now. But let's go and take a further look into the city. And you can see there is this uh, Corcoran everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, there are Corcoran guards. And it's going insane. If we move over here to the drag, we will be able to see Gammon. Gammon, I think he has surrendered himself I think he gave up because he now he has been held held uh, now he's been a prisoner of the Corcoran and he's standing here on his knees and begging for mercy I guess and there's three Corcoran grunts aiming at him and I think they will execute him I don't know it will be so sad if they execute Gammon and there is horde demolitions everywhere as well and over here, Corcoran everywhere. I mean, it's impossible to even find a single Orgrimmar grunt, okay? There are Orgrimmar grunts up here, but not so many. The Corcorans are taking over, and this is something for sure. But yeah, the war is coming, guys. The Dark Spear Rebellion, Thunder Bluff, are, a, are, are training their for forces and, be and starting to assault Orgrimmar. If we move over here, we will be also be able to see what will be we will be able to see Hellscream Demolitious, nothing special. But this is nothing special. I I must agree with you. This is nothing special. But if we move over to um, the cleft, if we move under Orgrimmar, we will also see a lot of Corcoran as well let's just go down and see if there's anything changed there and there is even more Corcoran Corcoran guarding the entrance to the raid fire chasm but over here what is this this is a normal warlock warlock trainer and these should be with the horde one thing I don't understand is that outside there is this Big Orida of the Black Flame, Shadow Mage Lord. And I don't understand why is he, why is her and three other Corcoran guns grunts aiming at the store at the warlock trainers. This doesn't make any sense. What has the warlock trainers done since there's so many Corcoran guarding it? It doesn't make any sense because if we move over here to regions, no guards. This doesn't make any sense. So the Corcoran are crazy and Garros as well so what do you guys think about all these changes made to patch 5.4 tell me your thoughts in the comments below as always Arikia thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one take care guys bye bye